Hello everybody and welcome to this week's episode of BC Skate Tours. My name is Brian and this week's episode we are finishing our trip up the Colorado River here at Bullhead City Skate Park. Looks like a fun little skate park. There are no uh, fences or anything blocking it. So we're going to go ahead and check it out and see what this park has to offer. Let's go. All right, we're gonna start off here in this corner. There's parking off right here, and uh, the river and whatnot is right down there. There's a big party scene going on down there. I may have to mute parts of the video because of music. First things first, I'm really excited about this tiny little rail here. It's a double coping rail, very grandpa status. Get your uh, axle grind action going on here. Pop a 50-50, no problem. You got fun little schoolhouse blocks right here on the left side, all coped. Got a nice little kicker ramp for some reason with coping all the way around it, right here. You got a knee-high coped wall with a kicker ramp coming from it from this angle. So you can hit the kicker ramp and gap onto the, onto the ledge. You got this little kicker ramp gap here. And that's one little fun run. On this side, you got a extension pop out from this bowl over here that we'll be looking at here soon enough that creates an extra ledge in this area. Nice little four foot by four foot uh, coped fun box about, uh, I don't know, about a foot high, maybe a little bigger. A uh, back to back kicker ramp with coping up top. Be fun to work on little axle stalls and whatnot. You have a fun little bowl over here roll in from this side coping on the other side they do look like very steep walls so the transition may look a little weird there's a lot of sand in here it doesn't look like this this part gets a whole lot of use all right now we're gonna trim back around so here's this bowl and uh yeah it's two three feet from here about four or five feet tall over there, three feet tall over there. Let's pop back up over here. So you, this is that ledge extension we were looking at. And uh, here's the bowl. Oh, this is, all right. Now I wish I could skate it, but I don't have the gear to clean all this up. So if you're gonna be come here, make sure to definitely bring your brooms. There is some potholes in there. So definitely watch the potholes. But this is a perfect little uh, wind in action. You, you roll in right here and then get your action on through the rest of the bowl that way. That looks like it'd be really fun to skate. It's coped all the way around and you got this 45 degree wall coming off of this side of the bowl. And then uh, here's the rest of the bowl and the rest of the skate park. Let's take it down here and take a look. So. In this area, you got a really steep wall coming off of here onto this to get up to this ledge. And that's a heck of a jump up there as well. Let's get down in here. Most of this is all rolling. Uh, the transition is kind of weird. I don't know how comfortable I'd be rolling into this. I guess I would have to try it. I love this too. So if you do roll in, coming off of that, you do roll in. You got this double Twinkie barrel roll set up here. Yeah, I'm just not, these transitions are weird. 
Yeah, I'm not exactly comfortable rolling up or down those yet. Lots of dirt here. There is the river right butted up against, right up against the park. And again, it just doesn't look like very many people skate it. Otherwise, I'm sure if uh, you had some weekend skaters, they would come out here and vacuum out the bowl or vacuum out and sweep out the bowl. You do got some shade and uh, picnic table. What's really cool is you are allowed to swim in the river here. So you get all hot here. You go straight from skating to swimming. See a bunch of people swimming down there right now. Big old parties going on for the weekend here during the summer. Look at this crazy flat rail. Two, two rails welded together as one that's wild this one's about a uh, high shin and the one we're about to see over here looks like it's about knee high here's that weird half pipe again it's not a half pipe it's i don't know i don't know just certain parts of this park are weird some more hips and walls here roll-ins the roll double roll-in into this little twinkie barrel another uh pyramid designed like the one in the bowl maybe they're trying to tell us something ancient astronaut theorist says maybe another double rail that one's a little over knee high you got this cool little fun box you got two kickers with a flat top and it has uh the ledge all coped then you got this large six inch round long flat rail right here and then a really nice grandpa style four foot by four foot square fun box slash mani pad this looks like it would be a lot of fun to, to play with right here. So, and we're right back where we started at. There's the rail right there, the double rail. You got the style corner and there's the bowl right over there. So that's gonna go ahead and do it for this week's episode of BC Skate Tours. And this, go, this goes ahead and finish the Arizona side of the Colorado River run. So we went ahead and did Parker Skate Park, Lake Havasu, which used to be the largest skate park, which I think is a really fun skate park. And now Bullhead City Skate Park. And until next time, go out there, skate, have fun, and enjoy life. If you like our videos, hit the like button down below. It'll really help us out. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button right here. Check out a playlist of all kinds of skate park tours right here. Check out all the local skaters right here. And here is a special video chosen by YouTube just for you right here.